floods all the time. Yeah. That's what we live with. Not as bad, but it floods all the time. Robin Childer stood on her porch today looking out at the front yard that was flooded in the summer of 16 when water came up to the base of that same porch. The family lost everything in their basement and they lost much more. Robin's husband, Richard, collapsed and died suddenly at 51 years old just days after the flooding. Daisy spent working to clean up. But my husband told me that night, he said, baby, when is your time to go? It's your time to go. And it was his time. Even two and a half years after that devastating flooding, people here on Elm Avenue, including Robin and her family, worry about the water rising when there's heavy rain in the forecast. Robin said they watched the forecast and watched for the water to rise again. Whatever fix has been put in place was not enough to eliminate the problem. They, quote, came out and yeah, tried to fix the pipes, but it didn't work. <laughs> still the they, same old same. You can still see the patch in the street where they did the work. Now she's working to hold on to her home, even as she's still grieving. I'm still dealing with the fact that he's not here. And we're here left to try to salvage what we can. I don't want to sell my house because I live in Norwood and I love Norwood. This weekend, she'll be watching again, ready to move her van to higher ground if her street fills with water. From Norwood, Andrew Setters, WL.